Alright guys, in today's video we are going to review Church's chicken with the mashed potatoes and then the creamy jalapeno sauce. So let's get started. Alright guys, in today's video we are going to review Church's chicken. And sorry my voice is a little raspy today. Can't tell if it's allergies or the cold or coronavirus, like who knows. Um, but anyways, yesterday I was at an event and they had like a, a sushi chef there and he's from Mexico City. And he said, and I was telling him about my reviews and stuff, and I was telling him how Cancun doesn't really have any good just corner, like, taquerias, like, mom and pop shops. They have a lot of good restaurants, but, like, as far as, like, just street corner vendors or street vendors, uh, their game is just very, um, I wouldn't say it's bad. It's all okay food, but it's not, like... It's very underwhelming food, and so, uh, and he was talking about in Mexico City, just every block has an amazing taqueria, like their, their food level is just way higher than, as far as like street vendors, um, than Cancun, so uh, that was, so then I mentioned that uh, how there's no good uh, chicken, fried chicken in, in Mexico, it just doesn't exist, uh, especially in Cancun. Uh, he said, he agreed with me, and he said churches is actually pretty decent, so, that's why I was like, okay, I'll try it out. So um, I just picked it up. It doesn't feel, it feels kind of uh, like it's been, and it, it wasn't like super fast. It was like, I remember thinking like, cause I ordered it from Didi. Oh, and that reminds me, uh, if you like Didi, uh, or if you like delivery food, make sure you use my promo code when you download it and get it when you're here in Cancun. It really does help. I, I used it last night to get home from the event. I used it today to order food. So it, it's really helped out a lot. So anyways, uh, but, Back to my story, it did take him like 20 30 minutes to get here. I'm like, how long does it take to box up a chicken and send it out? Um, because I could tell this is not fresh baked, this has been sitting under the oil, the, under the heat lamps for a good 30 minutes. So, anyways, um, and that was the other thing I talked about. I told him how I'm kind of I'm a mix of like Guy Fieri and Gordon Ramsay, and that I love all food, but I'm also kind of like a food snob, and that I know like the prep times, the cook times. I know when food's been sitting out. I know when like, they, like this, even the the way it's cooked, it's possible that their fryers aren't as hot as they should be. Cause it could, if, it, if it's um, too hot, obviously it'll burn it. But if it's too low, it doesn't get the crispiness. And so anyways, let's get started on this food review. But I don't have very high hopes for this. Maybe I just got a bad batch. It is Sunday here. So maybe they had the, the B staff in or the C staff or the D staff. But anyways, let's get started. It's not bad. It's right in par with what I thought churches was gonna taste like. Not overwhelming, not underwhelming. But he did say, try the sauces. So I made sure to get those. And I always dip my chicken, I don't know if y'all dip your chicken. I dip my chicken in everything, so let's try the sauce first. This tastes like a slightly spicy ranch, like a, yeah, I'm not, um, not a hundred percent convinced this is better than, I mean, it's not bad. You know what you're getting if you go to churches, you know, but they're always busy. So I was like, it's gotta be good. Every time I walk by there, there was always at least like 10 cars there. And I always wanted to go, I'm not going to lie, but they were always busy. I'm like, why are they always busy? But this is very underwhelming so far, not gonna lie to y'all. Yeah, that's, that's as bagged um, freeze-dried potatoes as you could possibly get. Even the gravy, I mean, I know they're worldwide chain and that's how they all work, but yeah, this is very underwhelming. I mean, I'm still gonna eat it. That's what I was telling her, like, I'm not like Gordon Ramsay that I take a bite and spit it out. Like I'll literally eat all my food even if I don't love it. And that's how this is. I think that's part of being raised uh, poor like I was. You just had to eat all your food. But I know Gordon was raised poor too, so he's just a little snottier about his food. Oh, the, the biscuit's not bad. It has some crispiness to it. Um, this is their, I think it's honey butter biscuit. Let's try that first without any seasoning. Biscuit's a little better, but I said I dip everything. I'm dipping in this first. Mm. 
Yeah, definitely makes that better. Most food tastes like with the, the sauce with the <clears throat> biscuit. Mm. Like I said, it's it's a ranch with a dash of spice. So not not enough spice. A little too. I, I, and I love ranch. Just just so you know, no, just not not my favorite. But anyways, <clears throat> rate the chicken. 6.7. I mean, you know what you're getting if you go to churches. It's, it's not gonna, you know, you're not gonna write home to mom about it. You know, from your Cancun vacation, you went to churches. But if you've been in Mexico a while and you need some uh, uh, down home cooking and KFC's closed or any other chicken place is closed, um, yeah, go there. But you're now not gonna drive out of your way. Or if you're like me, when you see it on the DD app and maybe it's the uh, they got a special like they did today. Oh, like I said, when you use my promo code, you will get like 200 pesos in in, um, in coupons. So, hey, you download the app. They have a promo code. You just need something to eat. And, you know, you've been drinking margaritas and, and you know, you've eaten tacos on the beach and you just need some down-home American food. Yeah, go ahead and get this. But other than that, I would skip it. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm going to eat all this whole meal. It's not bad. But anyways, thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. And guys, don't forget that like and subscribe button. Bye.